Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve transportation problem in operation research by a simple method called matrix minima method. Our question is to solve the following transportation problem and find the initial basic feasible solution or IBFS. This is called a cost matrix and this vertical column is called AI which denotes, this number denotes the total supply or total availability and this horizontal row called BJ which the number denotes the total demand. Again we have three origins O1, O2 or O3. You can say them three depots or three go-downs and three customers or three destinations D1, D2, D3. So demand of customer D1 or destination D1 is of 9 units of goods and O1 we have 12 units of goods in stock and if we allocate or if we transport 1 unit of goods from O1 to D1 our cost of transportation will be of 5 units that may be 5 rupees or 5 dollars so our objective is to allocate or transport goods from these 3 depots O1, O2 or O3 to 3 destinations D1, D2 and D3 in such a manner so that our total cost of transportation is minimum so let's proceed to the solution for that first find the minimum number among all the elements inside the boxes and allocate to that first so minimum element is 0 and again 0 the total demand is 11 units and supply is of 14 units so you can allocate maximum 11 to this location so minimum of 11 comma 12 11 comma 14 11 allocated to location 0 allocation means writing the allocated value in a small box in that cell so if you allocate 11 to 0 our total demand against 0 will be 0 and supply will reduce to from 14 to 3 after allocating 11 again same process next smallest element is 1 1 and against 1 we have demand of 10 and supply of 12 so we allocate 10 at this location after allocation demand will be 0 and supply will be 2 next smallest element is 2 and against 2 demand 9 and supply we have alloc already allocated 11 so supply is now 3 so we, uh, we can allocate only 3 out of 6 against 2 so our after allocating 3 our demand will reduce to 6 and supply will will be exhausted that will become 0 so since it's exhausted we'll write a small cross that means we can't allocate uh, from the origin O2. Next smallest element is 3 at cell 3 comma 1. 3 comma 1 means row 3 and column 1. That's meaning of 3 comma 1. So against this number 3 we have our demand of 6 units and supply of 4 units. So we can allocate minimum of 6 comma 4, 4. So our supply will reduce to 0 and demand will reduce to 6 minus 4, 2. So 3 is done. Next smallest element is 4. But remember there's small note even if the next smallest element is 4 we can't allocate to it because its demand and availability both are 0 so against this number 4 availability is now 0 and demand is also 0 so we can't allocate to 4 we have to proceed to next smallest element that is 5 instead of 4 we will proceed with next smallest element that is 5 and against 5 demand is 2 units and supply is also 12 minus 10 2 units so you can allocate just 2 this is our final allocation table which is optional since the total demands 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to total availability 0 plus 0 plus 0 all are 0 so allocation is complete next we have to make the allocation list which is also optional our final object to calculate the allocation cost so allocation list we can write x11 means in row 1 column 1 we have allocated 2 in row 1 column 2 we have allocated 10 in row 2 column 1 we have allocated 3 row 2 column 3 allocated 11 and row 3 column 1 we allocated 4 this is our main objective to find the allocation cost which is given by allocated value times transportation cost we have to transport 2 units by the cost of 5 so 2 times 5 plus 10 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus 11 times 0 plus 4 times 3 which is 38 units of allocation cost which may be in dollar in rupees or in euros so this was answer by matrix minima method i have also done the same math you can see by another method that's called nwcr or north west corner rule but the answer comes 104 units which is much higher than the matrix minima method to know 
how to solve using NWCR, you can visit my YouTube channel. The video is there. So for now, this was my tutorial using matrix minimum method. How was the video? Let me know in the comment section. I uploaded many math videos, many videos on how to use your scientific calculators for complete uh, mathematical solving, many videos on science tutorials, science experiments, and many electronics project videos. To see all those videos, please visit my YouTube channel. The link is given in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will upload many videos on operation research in future. So if you subscribe, you will be notified whenever I upload my next video. So if this video has helped you, please like this video. So I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.